129 fans have jammed this joint months ago, weeks ago, sold out all the tickets in 30 minutes. And man, what a night we've got, folks. Off the back. Stayed right on it, did Carter. Yeah, that was that was good. Focus maintained by Rio. Double knees to the face. He hooks the leg. Is he holding? Catch it. Oh, yeah. It's over. It's over. Rio's wow. a champion. Rio has beaten Nyla Rose to become the first ever AEW Women's Champion. The winner of this match and all Elite Wrestling Women's World Champion. An amazing match. Fans were with it each and every way. And Dr. Britt Baker, you gotta set your sights now on this first ever women's champion. You're sure right. What a match. Riho gave every ounce of fight the entire match. Dr. Baker, it was great having you out here with us. We wish you the very best on your journey. Thanks, guys. I, I love being here, but hopefully I'm not back here again because I need to be in the ring, right? Right. Next time we want to see you in the ring. That's right. Tremendous, guys, absolutely tremendous. She deserves every accolade because she took the beast to the limit. Ortiz and the AEW World Champion, Chris Jericho. As great as the books are, the numbers were just too great in this match, guys. Absolutely, it was a mathematical situation. Right. But now, now the referees, now we need more referees here. We need the somebody. To assemble for the order. Oh, oh there's, there's Cody. Cody. Cody's seen enough. Laid in right hands to the man who killed on November 9th. Cody, Henry Webb, the AEW champion. He knows what's coming. Boots to the midsection, and now Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara. Oh, Jim. 
for the lack of a better name. And Cody valiantly tried to fight, but the numbers just overwhelming him. What a champion we have. What an AEW champion we have. Oh, the Judas effect! That stiff back elbow, the Judas effect by Jericho. That wild eyed look at and Hager's face. 100% efficiency on that Judas effect every time he hits it. It's lights out for his opponent. We have just seen the destruction of all elite. At the Jericho loves it. He's got a monster in, in Hager. Good Lord, ladies and gentlemen, what a night. Right hand misses, but the back elbows don't. Scorpio Sky ducks under the lariat. Oh, Lordy. Chope Con, hello there from Scorpio Sky. I love this. Just oh. agility, athleticism, it's amazing. And the timing there from Ray Phoenix catching Sky with the dropkick. Oh, my God. Oh, oh God. God. Rana. Oh, Kazarian tried that Hurricane Rana off the top. I think he got by far the worst of it because his head drove right down to oh, the apron Lord. of the ring. Yeah, we saw his ankle get stuck in the ropes. Ray Phoenix was still pulled into Pentagon Jr., but Kazarian. Let's see that very, again. Very unsettled there. Oh, bodies that, everywhere. That could be a difference maker, folks, in this match right here. Yeah, just, I, that one move right there because Kazarian look is still got his head down. Kazarian's hurt. Kazarian sent up and over the top. Assistant swinging DDT there from SCU. But was it all that Kazarian could have done if he had been 100%? I don't think so. And look at Ray Phoenix. Oh, no, Scorpio Sky Beautiful with counter. the reversal. Beautiful counter. Will it be? No. A one second away from becoming the first ever AEW Tag Champions. Scorpio Sky continues to star in this tournament. Yes, he does. He called Kazarian in. Kazarian, as you can see, is still very, very much damaged. Yeah, a little wobbly. Looking for SCU later. Oh, but Pentagon had it scouted. He counters, taking out both members of the opposition. Oh, no! the destroyer! Pentagon goes over the top! Boot up there by Scorpio Sky. Ray Phoenix! Oh, what a cutter! And that could do it, the cover here. No, Sky kicking out. You gotta neutralize the legs, in my opinion. And Ray Phoenix thought he had it. Yeah, you gotta neutralize the legs, especially when you're trying to cover a great athlete like Sky. Hey, bingo. Who is so muscular everywhere. Strong, his mind is maybe his strongest asset. His will to be great and help his team win this Covenant Championship. Oh, oh. minute of collision. Both men thinking cross body and they collide. Referee Aubrey Evers checking out to see. Pentagon going for the drop kick to the, the ankles of Kazarian. He catches the boot. Pulls him out. Oh, no, no. Oh! Power bomb through the timekeeper's table. That's it. It's two on one the rest of the way, guys. Kazarian destroyed here on the outside. Luckily, the concrete broke his fall. Oh. The concrete broke his fall. Look at how Kazarian was driven down so viciously via that power bomb. See, two on one. Man. Fight him off. Yeah, the odds are bad here now for, for the Yeah, for so Scorpio Sky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh! So Cal uncensored. SCU in trouble. Their dreams can be shattered. That's it. Off his brother's shoulders. One, two. No! Again, he didn't hook the leg! Scorpio Sky fights, and he fights. He wills himself to stay in this match. No matter what, come hell or high water, this young man will never quit. Um, now Scorpio Sky being set up. They're looking for that package pile driver. Double foot stops combination. Sky kicking his legs inside Body cradle. Up. One, inside cradle. two, inside cradle. Yes! yes. Oh, my yes. God! Scorpio Sky has done it! After all that, a small package. What about that? Inside oh, Cradle, a wrestling uh, maneuver wins it. All Italy Wrestling World Tag Team Champions, SCU! Rolled him right up and got the win. That was, that was determination right there, guys. Determination. What an extraordinary victory.
for SoCal Uncensored. As a SoCal resident myself, I could not be more proud of these two men. Man, you talk about the road to full gear getting hotter and hotter after all the things we've seen tonight. And now we've got new tag team champions. They'll be always known as the first ever AEW tag team champions, no matter what happens in the future. Never take that away from them. You're right, Jim. Next caliber, never take away the fact they're the first champions ever tag team division of all elite wrestling. And they won it with guts and determination and not quitting, ever quitting. Great lesson for all of us in life. You just never fight, not quit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a hell of a night here in West Virginia, let me tell you. We thank you so much for inviting us into your home, and we'll see you next week from Charlotte, North Carolina. SCU! Okay, sitting in, not want to be brought to that corner. And we are back here. MJF continued to incite this crowd. Finally, Page, oh. knife edge chop, and another one. Page's arm, his arms have been the focus. That left arm is in the insertion point there. The elbow is a problem, big problem. Follow away slam. Nip up by Hangman, Adam Page. Clutching that left elbow very close to his body. About to do some cowboy stuff here. And now top a suicida driving MJF into the barricade. The big man flying through the air. And now, uh-oh. Oh, he's headed up top. Catch. Big risk. Oh, what a moonsault to the outside. But Page may have re-injured his arm or aggravated his arm even further on that high-risk maneuver. As he, he's got to go for the cover here quicker than not. He's got MJF returned to the ring. He's got him primed for that buckshot lariat. As we take another look. And, oh, look at this. MJF pulling referee Bryce Remsburg into the path of Hangman. Well, that should be a disqualification. Manhandling the referee. He went for the boot. MJF lands on his feet. And, oh, the eye poke. And that was a, not the admonishment of the official. That's about all he could do, quite frankly. Oh, oh discus oh. lariat. Bang. Cover one, two, two count. Oh. Wow. Long two. And JR, you have to remember a couple weeks ago on Being the Elite on YouTube, we saw Hangman Page voluntarily leave the Elite. And here he is tonight. He, ne he knows that he needs to get back to his winning ways. And what a win this would oh. be for that dynamite diamond ring. And honestly, this arena has not been kind to Hangman Page. No, he, is, he has got a losing record in this building as MJF was going for that heat seeker. But oh. box shot Lariat yeah. turned him inside out. Yes, it did. Big time impact. Going for the cover. He finally got there. Finally got oh, there. Look at Wardlow. Put the foot on the bottom row. That'll stop the count. And of course, Wardlow's going to lie about it and say he didn't do anything. I've never seen a wrestler in my career admit their atrocities. What do you want him to do, Bryce? Sign an affidavit? He ain't going to admit to nothing. I would say that that is an over $40,000 move by Wardlow right there. I think you're right. Bottom line, he bought his man, MJF, a lot of time. And Hangman. Oh, oh, oh. right hand. Oh, man. A, a shocking, a shocking right hand. Right in the jaw of Hangman Page. The referee was with, with MJF. Oh, oh, what, what is this? What is this? Oh! That was a crossroads. One, two, oh. three. Oh, that is it. Oh, kiss my ass. That's not a crossroads. That's a damn double cross. Come Here's on. your winner and winner of the Dynamite Diamond, MJF. All right, so give him the ring, get him out of here. Yeah, if you thought he couldn't shut up before, oh my it's going to be insufferable now. Oh, my God. It was the ugliest double cross I ever saw executed, but it worked. I don't know. I don't know right it was, a, was it a double cross or was it that right yeah. hand? Well, we, we can speculate. So the ring presentation will be forthcoming as in right now it's me it's d d p self i five and who better to present the dynamite diamond than 
Diamond Dallas Page himself. Man, he's in great shape. What's his secret? Yoga. DDT yoga. It works. Well, I guess uh, the Hall of Famer is going to obviously be involved in this ring presentation, which probably isn't making MJF very happy because MJF knows that DDT is a ally, a friend of, of Cody and the whole entire Rhodes family. But I mean, DDP at his heart, he's a professional. He knows that he's been brought out here to present this, this first annual Dynamite Diamond. You're right, bro. Chicago! Are you ready? It's me. It's DDP. And I'm here to present <laughs> and I'm here to present the very first AEW Dynamite Diamond Ring To the very first winner, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. some point with all this stuff is the impacts are seeing how long can their bodies hold up and if you saw on picture in picture during the break amazing action frankie kazarian oh. with that cutter on the outside changing the complexion of this match and now it's anybody's i was gonna say anybody's ball game it's anybody's world tag team championship oh. omega got great elevation there another high strike hard strike Teamwork, we're seeing it now. Yes, we are. This guy goes for the high boot. Omega, boom! Snap Dragon! Gonna try to put the Snapdragon on Kazarian. No, he's not. He's got him set up. Tiger Driver 98. Kazarian kicks his feet. No, you're Omega. right. Oh! Oh, plants him on the crown of his head. Planted a good word. Oh! Kazarian got drilled, but he, again, he wills him way, his way right back into the fight, does Frankie Kazarian who's wrestling one of his toughest matches that we've seen him in. A lot of physicality here. Omega, he's got Kazarian in his sights. But Scorpio Sky intercepts with a knee strike of his own. Interference, uh, nice uh, inter intervention. Oh, SCU later! The champions retain! One, two, no! Oh, he fell back on him, or he had, would have had the win. Exactly. Kazarian can't believe the bad luck he just experienced. Because he had the pin, you're right, Tony. He had the pin to, to Kazarian. There was no way Omega was going to kick out Hangman. Good teamwork there. You see that teamwork? Hangman pulling. pushed the pile. Yeah, but he's pulling Omega back into the corner where he can make that tag. That was smart work by Hangman Page. Of course, uh, you know Page would love to get the clinching fall. Didn't want to go that way. Sky sending Hangman in. Hangman reverses. Kazarian eats a boot on his way in. Spine buster there by Hangman. Oh, Jeskis Lariat. Taking on both men here. Hangman. Oh, oh impact. Shot. Inside out, upside down. Tag titles on the line on TNT. Boom. Could that do it? Shoulders up. Yeah! Our new AEW Tag Team Champions. And they are Hangman Page and Kenny Omega. No winners of this match. And new All Alien Wrestling World Tag Team Champions, K. 
Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam P. Boy, again, I thought if you look long and hard, and Tony, you and I have caused some great tag team matchups. Look at the Young Bucks. No, that was as competitive and as high impact of a tag team match you'll ever want to see. And this one saw a changing of the guard in the elite. But the thing you have to remember is after Sky and Kazarian hit that SCU later on Kenny Omega, he was effectively eliminated from this match. Hangman knew he was wrestling what was essentially a handicap match. And two park shot lariats, one on Sky and one on Kazarian to pick up the win. Big night for the elite. Maybe their wounds are healing. And they're getting back on the same page. And speaking of pages, Hangman, Hangman were you going to happy hour? Opting not to celebrate. Well, as you know, there's always a lot of celebrating going on on the cruise. Man, what a night. The atmosphere is unbelievable, folks. Hangman not going to find any shortage of people willing to buy him a beer here tonight. There Mostly because they're free, but... <laughs> well, in any event, congratulations to Omega and Paige. And let's not forget to give credit where credit's due. SCU are amazing tag team champions. They will be back, and they had a hell of an outing here tonight. From the 98 town champion who's full of heart and fight and grit and bleeding at the mouth to boot, I do believe. Oh, the running oh. knee strike avoided. Face right in the, buried in the turnbuckle. Nyla hoists up Riho. Riho trying to fight her way back down, but oh, look at this. Nyla steps over. She has the, the ankle captured. She did have the ankle capture. Too elusive. She's too quick, too elusive. Another low drop kick. The flexibility of Rio is in uncanny. Rio. Oh, no, their leg suplex. One, two, no! Boy, that was so close. Turner's hand was inches away from hitting the canvas for the third and final time. And Rose's right shoulder just rolled up in the nick of time. And Rio headed up top. She's looking for those Double foot stumps! And the cover! Oh! oh wow. out one count. Out in one. She may, a real may have awakened the giant. Now the giant just fell down yeah. again. Boy, both these, both these ladies have just driven each other oh. to the brink. Another set of foot stomps. And Rio looking for the trifecta. Now this says, don't do it! Oh. Oh. Stop no to the face! Hubbard puts on the rope. Well, that was the self oh. salvation. So close, Rio was to retaining that women's world championship. And now she's got Nyla on her knees, looking for the double knee. Oh! What a spear! Big time spear. And Nyla hoists oh. her up. Oh, and of this match. And new AEW Women's World Champion, the Native Beast, Nyla Rose. You know, JR is caliber. Many people standing and cheering, not because of who their favorite won, but because they just saw one ass kicking match. They really did. That was an incredible matchup. And you saw Nyla Rose. She ratcheted up that aggression. She used her strength and size advantage, and she didn't make any errors, most importantly. The only time that Nyla left her feet voluntarily, she scored with it. That's that knee drop off the top rope, and then disrespectfully walking over the former champion. So we have a new champion. Nyla Rose is the king of the mountain in the women's division, AEW. I'd like to say that this is a shock. It can be considered a shock, but what I am amazed about is the resilience and the courage and heart of Rio. Just kept coming back and coming back and fighting and outside, inside, didn't matter. I mean, that's been, that's been the story of Rio's career, not only here in AEW, but throughout the, the 13 years of in-ring time she spent, but sooner or later, 
a force of nature like Nyla Rose will just catch up. And Nyla Rose, I think, by all accounts, wrestled a perfect match here tonight. There's you two. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. I am the Exalted One of the Dark Order. In very short time, you will be up to speed on just who I am. Now, I'd first like to state that the new rule of the Dark Order goes like this. We do what we want, when we want. And if I want something, I take it. And now let me put it in a different way, because maybe the stupid out there didn't understand. If we come and knock on your door, you open that door, and you let the Dark Order in. And if you don't, I personally will kick that door down and lead the Dark Order through it. Seems to be a little bit of silence. Maybe you don't understand. Let me make this one a little more personal, a little more tangible for you to feel, Mr. Christopher Daniels. Oh, you thought you were safe, didn't you? The thing about it is now the word is out, Chris. You are very unsafe. All your jokes, all your games. Did you really think you were gonna go unpunished? Mr. Daniels, I assure you, you are not the first out of touch old man to not believe in me. But I will make damn sure you are the last. Now let me take this time to formally introduce myself to you. Chris, my name is Brody Lee, and I am the Exalted One. Oh my God! Brody Lee just took Daniel's head off. Brody Lee is the Exalted One. It wasn't a hoax, it wasn't a lie, it's a fact. There is an exalted one and it's just a ever nasty Brody Lee. Wow. Like a big rig running over Christopher Daniels as Uno and Grayson take out Kazarian. The exalted one has arrived in all elite wrestling. We are one. Oh, God. What does this mean for the whole of AEW? Number two, we're in a circle, right? Right? Here's number three. I just made a decree that I'm banning all fans from all future AEW events no. until I say so. I don't care if the world changes tomorrow. The last thing I need, the last thing we need is a bunch of pumpkin-headed dipshits chanting for Cody or chanting for Matt or Omega or Hangman. So they're gone. No fans allowed. And the fourth reason, the most important reason is, after what we did to your snot-nosed little brother, Matt Jackson, yeah, the elites only got four, and the inner circle, we got five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you don't stand a chance, man. You don't stand a chance. So what we're going to tell you is this. When blood and guts happens, it's inner circle. Look at this, look at this, come on. Sa Sammy, 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 get on his back. Just go down your back. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's hard. Do one. Do one. Do that. Look at that. Jeez. Look at that. Don't, oh, don't forget. There you go. Don't forget this. We've never had a problem in the inner circle. We have never uh, 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 spoke a cross word to each other. We've never hit each other with each other's move accidentally. We've never drank at ringside and got a little buzzkey. Never. So there's no way that we haven't shown a crack in the armor. We haven't done a thing except for win. We've dominated the AEW. We've dominated the elite. And when it comes time for blood and guts, 
We're going to dominate blood and guts as well. They're going to pay us a lot of money for this. It's the truth. That's right. That's right. What you looking at, Brandy? What you looking at? Huh? What you looking at? Stay on the other side of the, uh, the uh, gate there, Dustin. Scares me. Scares me. Right? Huh? Sammy. Tell them how hot you are. Tell them how sexy you are. I mean, just look at me. I'm a Spanish guy, baby. Hey, if you want to hit me up, Brandy, I mean, oh. Oh, come on. your man's a loser, so go for it. Yeah. Exactly. And the funny thing is, my favorite part, is if there was five... What? What is that huh. about? Wait a minute. Well, what do we have here, Chris? See, a lot of the stuff you're saying it happened to be true. We've, we've had our problems. But one thing, well, there was one mistake right there in your little speech. The elite isn't outnumbered, Chris. That's right. It's not, it's not just four of us. No, no. In fact, I made a phone call to a, a friend who owed me a favor. is a six-man team. There was no question about that. Matt Hardy is checking in on Mark Quinn, who obviously is in a lot of pain here. That's sportsmanlike. I like that. Great sportsmanship being shown by Matt Hardy as he and Rick Knox taking Mark Quinn to the back. Hopefully it's just a tweet. You know, Doc Sampson will be on hand to check out the condition of Quinn. Yeah, that kid's in a lot of pain, man. Man, they got to get him out of here. Well, right now, what a return to form for the Young Bucks, getting back to their winning ways. And we've had some upheaval in the tag team division. You know the Young Bucks want to be back in that title hunt. Yeah, they're right now. Oh, oh, no! Butcher and Blade! Butcher and Blade trying to get some retribution from that earlier altercation involving these four men. Easy to attack them from behind once they've had this match. That errant super kick from Nick that caught Blade on the jaw was just dominoed into Butcher and Blade. I don't think the uh, inadvertent defense will, will get the jury's verdict, Your Honor. What's, what is this? Another, another truck pulling up to Daly's place. Hey, wait a minute. Oh my God. Wait just a minute. Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, FTR! What are they doing here? Well, I think they can't fight. <laughs> but who? Oh, I think I know who. Don't you think you know who? I think I know too. They have had a war of words with the Young Bucks for years. Butcher and Blade finding that FTR are bad dudes. Yeah, we Har Harwood and Wheeler came here to play big time ball here in AEW. I don't think they care whose ass they whip. 
big time shot, takes out Butcher, and now Blade getting set up. There's teamwork. Dangerous team. Oh! FTR with a spike pile driver on Blade. And now the attention turns back to where we think it was originally intended. We have seen, if you've been watching, being the elite, you have seen the letters FT. Oh, right, watch out. Butcher wanted some more, and he got some. Butcher and Blade have been decimated by FTR, and now. A standoff here between two great tag teams. FTR and the Young Bucks, in the eyes of many, including mine, a dream tag team scenario. But FTR making an entrance and making their presence felt. So it's time for the open challenge. But I can't help but notice the air is getting a bit thin. It's a bit lonely at the moment. Last week on the receiving end of a beatdown courtesy of Jake Hager, I find myself no Dustin, no Matt, no Nick, no Kenny, no Hangman. So am I even in the elite anymore? I would hope so. I would hope so. Is the Nightmare family even a family? Kind of makes you wonder. Makes you wonder, right? But without further ado, I wasn't coming out here to talk. I want to hand it off to the man, the head coach of the Nightmare family. Let's hear a warm reception for Double A, Ann Anderson. Very interesting, very interesting. You know, to, here's the thing, Cody, with age, comes maturity, and maturity comes wisdom. And you have to listen sometimes inside your head right there to the voice of reason. Now, I know you believe you can beat Hager. I know you can beat Hager. But I also know that in this business, timing is everything, and the timing is just not right. Okay? Let's move on. Let's move past it. Today, you have an opponent that is more than qualified, very talented. As your coach, I've done my work. I've checked it out. But he's also a guy that you can take it to and hone your skills. And that's what we've been looking for. I'm Absolute Ricky Starks. I am a former NWA World Television Champion, and I am the hottest free agent on the market. The moment I heard that the Open Challenge was an invitation to anyone even outside of AEW, I thought that that was the perfect chance to not only get my foot in the door, but more importantly, prove to myself that I can hang with anybody. I have been broke. I've had $3 to my name, I've slept in my car, I've slept on floors, I've slept on couches, all for what? Just to be sitting here right now. And the only two things I had when I had nothing else in this world was work ethic and grit. The same two things that Cody Rose has. Cody talks about how you put him up on the track with anybody. Well, guess what, baby boy? I got my shoes tied tight and I'm ready to go to distance. Well, a very compelling story from our challenger here tonight. Is televised. Yeah, this is not just any challenger. Yeah, Ricky Stark said it himself, perhaps the hottest free agent in pro wrestling. He has competed most recently in the NWA, but he's also competed overseas in Japan with our friends at DDT all over North America, United States, Canada, and Mexico and held titles around the world. We do understand that you have a big announcement for us here. And uh, what's this well, all about? This is what this is about. Tony Schiavone, I'm really glad you're here. 
because you have been part of so many iconic moments in the wrestling industry, and this will be one of those iconic moments. As you know, and everybody knows, tonight here at Fighter Fest, what was supposed to happen was the AEW World Champion, John Moxley, was supposed to defend his title against the machine. Now next week, as we know, that will happen, and Brian Cage, the machine, will be crowned the new AEW World Champion, but that's what brings me to this, what's in my hands. What's in my hands, Tony, is something that I created decades ago. What's in my hands is something that basically is my full body of work. What's in my hands was created with my blood, my sweat, my tears. What's in my hands is the FTW World Championship. So this is a championship that no promotion has ever recognized, but wrestling fans worldwide, Tony, wrestling fans worldwide, they recognize the respect for the man who holds this championship, because the man who holds this championship is the baddest son of a bitch in wrestling. And that man is no longer uncrowned, and that man is not going to go into fight for the fallen without a championship, because that man is the machine, Brian Cage. Brian Cage, you are no longer uncrowned, my man. You are the FTW champion. Wow. Tony Schiavone, Tony Schiavone, what you're looking at here with the FTW Championship is some renegade shit, brother. That's what that is. That's some renegade shit. And who better, who better than the machine Brian Cage to go with the fight for the fallen with some momentum? Hey, Mox, your ass is done, buddy. Who better than the machine? JR Excalibur, how about that? The FTW Championship comes to AEW and comes to Dynamite here tonight at Fighter Fest. No, no, no. We're going to get this right. We're going to do Eddie this Eddie Kingston. Good. He's one of the dirtiest Tony. fighters in independent wrestling. You talk about grinding. You talk about living this rough life, all that jazz. No one's going to outgrind you, all that stuff. My man, it's easy to say that. When you grew up around, used to be legends like Arn Anderson. Yeah, you heard me. Keep shooting murder ones at me, and I'll knock your jaw right off your face, partner. You know what I grew up around? You know what I grew up around? Alcoholics, junkies. I grew up around that, and I had to survive. I had to grind. You couldn't last a day in my shoes. So you don't tell me nothing about grinding. You talk about the sport of pro wrestling? That's a joke. Because every person you faced has been a child. I am a grown ass man. And I will put you in the ground and smile. But here's the best part about this whole thing. The guy that you like to mention because you like to be best friends with the boss, Tony Khan, <laughs> paid me to show up. And now he's gonna pay me to kick your ass and take that championship. Oh yeah, you wanna go? But check the on. I swear on my beautiful mother's eyes, if you don't shut up, I'm gouging your eye out. All right? Let me speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's my time now. Real easy. Real easy, relax. You've had yours. Tony Khan said to me, you know what, King? If you want to know DQ, man, that's fine by me. Just, you know, Cody has to accept. You have to accept, because either you're an egg-sucking dog or you're an egg-sucking bitch. Oh my God, I said something. Ladies and gentlemen, it's confirmed this will be a no disqualification match. 
Introducing the challenger. Oh, oh, look at the reaction at ringside with everyone at ringside once they saw those thumbtacks. So fight me. So this young challenger, Tony Parker, yeah. has seen that. No, first. Tony, that, yeah, that's me. right. Uh, fight me. Not like this. Uh, fight me. Uh, oh, just a headbutt right between the eyes. Yeah. Just demanding that Cody fight him. Oh, oh my God, here we go. Oh. Oh. Go, Cody. Drop kick to the knee. So effective. He's, so timely. He saved himself that time is what he did. And Thumbtacks he's, on the canvas. He's trying to get Kingston up. Both men teetering. Kingston goes out the, out the back door, though. And a big shot. Oh, my God. Is he going to power bomb him on the tags? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! For the love of God, Thumbtacks. Cody's bleeding from the mouth. He's got thumbtacks all over his arms, his lower back. Look at that. Good God. His entire back and arms have been, been pierced like a pin cushion. Many look at Sheeta, the women's champion. She can't even look. Over here again. Oh. Can you imagine the pain from multiple parts of your anatomy? All those thumbtacks, arms, back, leg, lower back, everything. Oh. Backdrop suplex. Cody, oh, Cody. Oh, oh, oh. Cody said the hell with this. I'm coming alive here. Got to shut out the pain. Cody had that shot of adrenaline that propelled him up, but he's been unable to capitalize. He better find another shot of it. If one shot is good, the second one's better. And now, in my experience, Cody, he wants to can figure four. Kingston. Yeah, he sees it. He's, he's just slapping his way out of it. Oh. Look at this, would you? My God. And now just a straight right hand to the face of the challenger, Cody. Palm, palm strike time after time. The figure four changes the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. And Cody is pissed off. He's angry. He's had all this he's going to take. And he keeps the turn to hold on. But it's hat. He bridged up, and that was it. This match as a result of a submission. And still TNT champion, the American Nightmare, Cody. What a fight, JR. Cody Lee. Oh, Cody, Cody trying to get a quick start here. Good, good strategy. Go at him. Good offensive flurry by Cody in the early going. But not with this monster of a man get untrapped. Oh, Cody wow. Lee with a drop kick. Unbelievable. This huge heavyweight whoa, whoa, with a man. drop kick. What? And just Cody tossed over the top rope to the floor with ease. Cody grabbed his head, his arm, his ribs, everything. Yeah, let's, let's think about those ribs, how they've taken a beating oh. the last couple of weeks. But he's on now. His right arm, his right elbow. He landed really hard on the outside. Here comes Brody. Oh, got to kick his head off. I thought Cody was going to be able to avoid that contact, but no. Not no, but hell no. Brody Lee is a man possessed here. He is locked in and nasty, mean, dangerous as hell. Oh, good God. Heavy hands into the solar plexus. Of, of the TNT champion, who has really never gotten out of the blocks whatsoever in this matchup. He tried to hit him with that quick flurry, which I think surprised all of us, including Mr. Brody Lee, but the flurry has turned against him now. Uh, I think that uh, attack initially from Cody really pissed off Mr. Brody Lee, because he is hot. He's got a half and half. Oh, my God. Half and half back suplex. With uh, his words. Motivational words, but the power. Is it too little, too late? Broke him in half. First a power bomb, nasty. It's crazy. Cody's hands hanging down to the side. He's the oh, This is out, upside down. He did it! Are you kidding me? Whoa! Are you kidding me? Wow. I can't believe this. And new TNT champion, Mr. Brody Lee. Went right through Cody. That discus lariat, Jay off. Nobody, Giovanni. Nobody thought we could do this. Nobody believed in the Dark Order. Nobody believed in Brody Lee. People like you, Tony. You created this monster, and now I'm a problem for AEW. Well, that's a fact. Right. With this, Giovanni, comes the power. With this comes the say so dark order is at the top now well we got problems here this is 
more than we think here. Yeah, Pez. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cody's, Cody's in a hearty mood and in bad shape. Yeah, this People is. People like you, Shivani. Executives oh, like you created me. You held me down. You didn't give me a chance. But when I had the chance, what did I do? I knocked it out of the damn park. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a dominant. Tell everyone I'm the champion, Tony. Tell them. Mr. Brody Lee of the Dark Order is the champion. But is that the, the other story here is what we're seeing. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, Cody. Yeah, we, we, we've got a situation going on here. We sure as hell do, Tony. Uh, we've got a. We got a, a, a situation going on here on the left. I'm not sure what happened. Can you hear me? Yeah. Let me know you can hear me. Okay. Thumbs, thumbs up from Cody. Okay. That's a good sign. It is a good sign. He's coherent and positive. A lot of the AEW staff on hand, led by uh, Dr. Sanson. Worried about it. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. What's, up, huh? What's Doc Water up? They iron up Arn. Arn swing. Look Arn. Arn, they go down without a fight. Wait, wait a minute. This Arn Anderson being physically abused. Oh, oh my God! The second to the abdomen. What the hell? We need help out here. Doc Water is just Cody. Oh no! What the? Hell? What are you guys thinking? Hey! Some settlements of the order. This is chaos. They're running off their sensor away. Yeah, this is this just this thing uh, just got really uncontrollable here. This is bad. The inmates are controlling the warden's office. Oh! <laughs> I can only assume what's in that bag. This is, he needs medical attention and in the, in the dark order intimidated doctor says he's gone. You made me, people like you! Son of this is bitch. absolute tragedy. The new TNT champion. Look, look at this they attack Dustin too. QT in the back, they must have got the nightmare family being a... Foster children. Well, I, I, I gotta tell you, man, it might be a new day. Those grannies saying enough is enough. I'm just gonna be staying back, to be honest with you. Trying to protect her husband. Stand by your man, as someone once said. Wait a minute. Well, that, that, that's Anna Jay of the dog. Uh, Anna Jay? Anna Jay! Oh, God, she's got a rear naked choke. A choke on her. On a Randy! Randy is getting choked out. Choke her out. She choked Randy out. That beautiful young woman was nothing but a damn Jezebel. I have to tell you, JR, I think it's a new world here in AEW. The landscape has changed. Oh. That was that's you, what he Cody. hit him with. That's what was in the bag, JR. The I old told you TNT championship. It. That belt's yours. Stop going on. This one. This one, Cody, is mine. We're back live here on TNT, one of the most fundamentally sound matches we've seen in a long, long time between Thunder Rosa and Serena Deep. It's physical, and look at this. Boom! During the break, Thunder Rosa charging into the corner, that drop kick to the midsection, knocking the wind out of Serena Deep. I like how she extended the legs for some extra power on that drop kick. Well done. During our break, uh, Excalibur was explaining to us that he thinks that that uh, Thunder Rosa is a stylistic nightmare for the AEW Women's Champion. Yeah, that's right, JR. She has, uh, she can match Hikaru Shida strike for strike. She has the uh, the Lucha Libre influence, a, a style that is uh, that is unfamiliar for Hikaru Shida. And so, in a, in so many different ways, she is a puzzle for the AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. Serena Deep finding her way back up oh. to a vertical base. Got a backstabber in. On the NWA Women's Champ. 
And you know that Hikaru Shida is watching this matchup closely, scouting the competition. Oh. Close lines there from deep, taking Thunder Rosa off her feet. Just remind the fans of Dark comes your way on our YouTube channel each and every Tuesday. And here are some of the results from yesterday. And, and look at this. Almost, uh, Oh, Thunder Rosa transitions, or excuse me, Roll deep up. transitions into a pinning predicament. Thunder Rosa very nearly got caught sleeping. That was a smart move to get to the corner, though, after that. And she got the, the elbow oh. up. Mistake there by Serena. Got a little overzealous. Oh, and she... quickly, which is a key term, quickly followed up by Thunder Rosa, the NWA Women's Champ, no. now building some momentum. Those knees so dangerous by Thunder Rosa, and that's the striking I was talking about. Oh, another one of those drop kicks. Yes, sir. Low, sudden, and powerful. Yes, sir. Extending the legs out as she connects. Look at there. Here's a shoulders down. Now, aggressive cover there. High stack on it. Now, these ladies are pushing it, aren't they? Yes. I'll, this is a, one of the better female matches. And I'm, that's probably getting me in trouble. No, well, I, no, you. I, I understand. It's it's. it's we've had. Yeah, it's been a. It's been a. You can't and, deny it's been a great match. And we've had a lot of good ones. Yes, we have. And Thunder, oh no, look at that. Deep counters, two, no. Oh, wow, that was almost a major upset. I'll tell you what, a match this challenging, this uh, daunting for Thunder Rosa may do her good for Saturday night, too. Oh, the arms of Thunder Rosa are look captured. Deep, looking for that pile driver, but Thunder Rosa hoists her up. Down Valley driver. Wow. Got a lot of head there, and then neck. Cover, and Deep somehow kicks out. Hey, look, Serena can can earn a job here. This is serious business, ladies and gentlemen. You seen the unemployment race lately? Yes, we have. Deep gets that shoulder up off the canvas. Oh, look at oh, this. Roll oh, in. Thunder Rosa, one counter. Neither woman wanting to give way. Wild swinging a miss there. Oh. oh. Open hands, yeah. shots, palm strikes, suplex. Deep, Deep would really put herself in line to to vie for the NWA championship as well with a win. You're right. But right now, it doesn't look good for Serena. She's with weathered the storm on more than one occasion in this match against her amazingly talented opponent, Thunder Rosa. Look at that strength. Thunder Rosa hoists her up. Oh, the Thunder Driver! One, two, three! The winner of this match, the NWA World Women's Champion, Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa proudly wants to display her NWA women's title. But she's got a chance to go even beyond that, at least in our estimation, by, by becoming the AEW women's champion. Well, she's got quite an attitude as well. And she's going to need it come Saturday night against Cheetah. As uh, Excalibur says, she's got that great MMA background. That striking background will serve her well. Walking into Saturday night, the AEW Women's World Championship will be on the line at All Out. Praise at uh, America Top Team in, uh, San in San Antonio. I just want to say thank you, Kip. I got your text today. You said you're the best man, and I'm just so excited. Brian, I know it's your birthday, and you're a little bit hyped up. I didn't, I didn't say that. I said, you're the best, comma, man. You wouldn't leave me alone, Brian. It was like you've been stalking me since All Out. Texts, calls, Brian, we're not even friends. Mm. So it's get out of here, Junior. That's pretty brutal. Get out. Get out. Wow, what a what I a hope misery. your birthday sucked. Okay, let's try this one last time. It is my honor, my privilege to introduce to all of you the best man! I'm the best. I'm the best. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. What? Would you look at that? The crowd's going crazy. The beast from Bulgaria. Miro is the best man. He's one of those 
powerful, strongest men ever. Well, I mean, Miro is is really big on Twitch. Yes, he and is. So he and he and Kip obviously hit it off. Wow, this is. Look at him standing, JR, you're right. I didn't see this one coming, I can tell you that. But I'm happy that it did. The big man's got this crowd jacked up and on their feet. What's that? That has a good ring to it, doesn't it? Okay. <sighs> 10 years in the same house under the same glass ceiling with an imaginary brass ring. <laughs> well, you can take that brass ring and shove it up your ass. That's right, my name is Miro, and Elite recognizes Elite. Elite recognizes the best. And Kip, I love you, man. And of course, I'm gonna be your best man. But you pick me not because I am a best man, no, no, no. but because I am the best man. You tune into my Twitch channel, you know I am the best gamer. You tune into right here, you see me devour people after person after person, every day, every night, whatever you tune in. My name is Miro, and I'm all elite. Wow. Wow, that's impactful. Tony had a hell of an injury earlier today. Was something else revealing it really was. Tony talked to Hangman Page. Here it is. Oh, oh my God. no! Glass shattering. The back of Trent. Oh, 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 oh my God. Holy hell. Holy hell. Oh, the, the power. We see the power bomb. And then watch this. The watch the windshield. The double power bomb. Trent is back. The epidermis oh. ripped right through the glass. Or the glass ripped through the epidermis. Oh, absolutely. It's, I'm, I'm telling you, they, they, they went for Trent. And it, it's given now Chuck a chance to Chuck retaliate. Trying to, Chuck trying to choke out Santana. Here goes Ortiz. But Chuck. And I would drop that bat. Chuck's trying to end this match as quickly as possible. He knows that Trent is out of it. Look at Trent's back. I, I, how in the world can Trent be oh. extinct? The board turning into splinters. Oh. Elevation into the trash cans. Oh, my God. I don't I, I've seen crazy things, JR, you and I both. This, this, this has to be some of the craziest we've seen. This is the most amazing street fight I can remember calling in my career. And Santana, you can see, still gasping for breath after being choked by Chuck Taylor with that bat. And, oh, Trent is just a mess. You are seeing the remnants of one of the great rivalries in AEW Tag Team Wrestling. My God, and they're not done. Oh! The lumber is breaking. The splinters are flying. And flesh is being ripped apart. Look at the blood all over the concrete. My God. This is what it's come to between these two teams. Big right hands being delivered by Ortiz. Santana taunting Chuck Taylor. Could the end be near for one of these teams? How much longer can both these teams survive this situation? Look at Trent still trying to pull himself up. I can't believe this. The heart of a champion. Yeah, I agree. Man. Oh, and down he goes again. You had heart, right? Chuck. This was the biggest. Santana is just yelling at Chuck. And, oh, right hands! Oh, God, it was hard. 
Oh, right. Right to the temple. Oh, boy, back and forth and back and forth. Clean shots. Left and right. Chuck's trying to cover up. He might be done. I think he is done. Based on how we were, the rules were explained to us, the referee cannot stop the fight. Pinfall, submission, or surrender. Well, they got two referees, which is good because they're pairing off many, many times. I don't know what. It's, it seems like they've, they've. Oh my God, it's a lead pipe. Look at that gleam in the eye. He's gonna, he's gonna absolutely break his, he's gonna break his skull. The evil Santana. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, George Cassidy! What the hell? Oh, the orange punch! Well, he's got something on his hand. Or he's got something on his hand. With this, that's a, a steel chain. It's a chain. Wrapped around his fist. Orange Cassidy has knocked out Santana with the orange punch. And Santana just unsteady on his feet. Oh my God. This is surreal. This, I mean, this is absolutely surreal. What are we seeing here? Orange Cassidy delivering Santana up to Chuck Taylor. But look at this, Ortiz. Oh, power driver. Oh, for God's sakes, a power driver. Oh, look at this. Trent, what in the hell? He's got Ortiz. Oh, the crunchy. One, two, three. Whoa. What an amazing, amazing fight. What an amazing spectacle. The winners of this fight. Best. I can't Three. believe what I've seen here. I'm going to remember this forever. Orange I, Cassidy came in the right place at the right time. I said Santana and Ortiz were headed to war, and this was nothing short of that. Man, these guys will never be the same. No. They may have nightmares about this match for the rest of their lives. Trent and Chuck Taylor upholding the honor of Trent's mom, Sue. Getting back for what happened to the van, for getting their equipment, their gear bleach, for the things said about Sue. There you go, battered and bruised, but they're the winners. Look how bloody Trent is. And Chuck, they, they have smiles on their faces. The will to survive, more importantly, the will to oh. win. There's Ruben. Sue. Sue's got the van! <laughs> She's hugging her bloody son! And Orange Cassidy's shotgun! So take care of him, Sue. You've got some retribution for these brave young men. Uh, brave is right, JR. Good call. Sue taking the gang, taking best friends, and Orange Cassidy off into the distance. And <laughs> well, what a way to end tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you back here next week on Dynamite. Good night, everybody. Not just because they were in it, but because it may alter their careers. Or perhaps even their lives. Mr. Brody Lee unable to capitalize after the superplex. Going to have Jericho here have more from the celebrities around the world. And right now, two of the biggest stars in AEW are going at it. I mean, they have bruised and battered. And there could be there could be some more than lacerations here. I'm somewhat surprised the referee was counting there. Man, impact. Both competitors on their knees, just teeing off on one another. Cody's got that resilience. That, that 14 pounds we talked about in muscle has made him a lot stronger. And you know he kept up his cardio. He's very resilient tonight. Uh-oh. Had a good game plan. Oh, uh -oh. release dragon suplex. Until now. Brody Lee feels it. He hit his big move. He likes that move. It's very effective. But he's not able to get right back up and follow up either. Oh, well, there's his oh. discus lyric. Right. Discus lyric. Cody floats over the top. Nice block by Cody. Oh! Cody had a counter for uh, Brody Lee's big good discus elbow, discus a clothesline. And that's what he puts guys away with that. Yeah, it's the final cut. It's what he calls the final cut, and maybe it's the final blow he needed. And oh, right in the mouth. The We're, chain being wrapped in the mouth of Brody Lee. Across the nose. Across oh, the eye. Oh, my God. God. Look at the visual of this, my God. 
And Cody just hammering down elbows. And uh, Brody Lee's he's pouring blood. And Cody hoists him up foot. again. Oh! Ross Rhodes. Good God, what a crossroads. Got to be in. Yes. What? Yes. We have no a new TNT match. champion. And once again, TNT champion, the American Nightmare, Cody. Those two men just rode a rough wagon on a rocky road in, in, a, in a match called a dog collar match. Here comes uh, the Nightmare family. And it's not to celebrate, I don't think. Arn Anderson, good to see Arn. He's back up. Yeah, back on his feet and moving, moving well. As we see Dark Order just in disbelief after their leader, Mr. Brody Lee, was defeated by the new TNT champion, Cody. Well, Brody Lee reaffirms his toughness and his, uh, he's a star. Not, not that there was ever any question about it, but to survive a war like this, Tony's uh, down there in the, in the ring. Uh, we'll get a word with Cody. The third member of Team Taz. The numbers game is going to catch up. Taz's men are in control. And Cage with Justin oh. on his shoulders and just making it look so easy. I'm, I'm concerned for Arn Anderson. Yeah, me too. And Cody's being choked out over there. Oh, my God. It's good to see the referees are Johnny on the spot. Yeah, it's this is a mugging. It is, and look at uh, calling the shots. There is Taz. They got the belt. They got the FTW belt. And it's not going to be an ornament. It's going to be a weapon. If I, oh. well, if, I, if I think I know what I'm talking about. Oh, he wants, he wants, he wants him to pull, pull Cody out. Look, Taz is calling every shot. Yes, he is. He's, he's, he's calling the plays. He's oh, sending them in. They're holding Cody up. The FTW Championship in hand and how He's defending. favorite wrestler growing up. He's, they're looking at each other eye to eye right now. Uh, I don't think Cody ever expected this, though. No one did. Sting is on AEW Dynamite. And Darby Allen, what must he be thinking? He might, he might have been a little stinger once upon a time. I think there are many, many here and many millions around watching Dynamite that remembers March 26, 2001. And here is again. Wow, I got chills. 
an icy glare exchanged between the TNT champion Darby Allen and the TNT legend Sting. Seeing this man makes me feel young again, Tony. It's an amazing moment. It's an amazing moment. We don't know when, we don't know where, we don't know why. We don't know what's next. But we know that right now Sting is on AEW Dynamite. Ladies and gentlemen, the world Woo! title still on tap. The main event still to come. What a moment. Moxley avoids it. Oh, my and God. Omega went off to, to the outside, avoided the contact, but came up and ate an elbow strike there from the champion, John Moxley. Moxley going to try to take advantage here now. He's they're back out of Moxley land. That's outside the ring. Oh, here John, we go. Oh! Paradigm shifted those heaters. Those heaters at the ringside area. Well, that's not good. No, that, those are extremely hot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait a minute. Paul, Paul Turner. Where's the doctor? Paul Turner gesturing at the, at the doctor. It's, it's Bryce Reddy, our doctor. Mason's in bad shape. Kenny's out, I think. Ken, and I, I think Kenny, when he when he came down, landed on the on the concrete. It's, Don Callis has actually stood up. He's very concerned. Well, well, he should be. I mean, Kenny's Kenny may not be able to continue here. I mean, Kenny, a, a man. This be unfortunate. Don. Don going down to check on Kenny, obviously. Well, understandable. This, this Don, essentially an uncle to, to Kenny Omega. Hit the side of Paul Turner say hit the side of his head apparently. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be very cautious here. And of course, and nobody, well, look nobody at wants this match to end this way. And especially John but, Moxley. Yeah. John Moxley's gonna beat Kenny Omega in the center of the ring. I don't know, the referee's gotta be very uh, Look at John Moxley. John Moxley is like livid. Straight unprotected shots to the head. How many do you get before you stop it? Okay. John Moxley's not for, forgot that. that. He's got a microphone. He's, He's trying hurt. To... Don Callis has the microphone. Oh, oh good God. Yeah, there's some impact there. Well, I, I, you know, Don should have stayed away from the ring, and I get it. I understand it, but my God. All he's trying to do, Tony, is. That's, he wanted him to stop the match. He said minute. he's hurt. Wait a minute. He said he was hurt. Omega's got the mic. Omega. Oh, oh, my right, God. Right between the eyes. Oh, my he, God. He knocked him out. Well, that microphone. How the hell did that microphone go from callous to Omega? And. I mean, obviously, something's happened here. Kenny Omega spiked John Moxley right between the eyes. Oh, Moxley's bleeding. Yeah, oh, he, oh that John microphone. Mox, John Moxley has been busted open profusely. And, and Moxley, you can see, very dazed. And, and Kenny is, is pulling his knee pad down to expose that knee. They had a gentleman's agreement. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? Oh, the feet trigger. What happened to the gentleman's agreement they talked about? I don't know, Tony. Oh, a second one. This has not got any peace or easy feeling about it whatsoever. Oh, the, how much more can the champion take? Oh, That's what I want to know. How much more? My God, another one. And that time the head hit to the oh, middle or bottom turnbuckle. The bloody champion being pulled to his feet. Four consecutive V triggers. Moxley with his hands down, unable to protect himself. And now Omega, the challenger has an opportunity to do something no one in AEW has done. Defeat John oh, One Moxley. winged angel. One winged angel. Shoulders are down. New champion. With the no winner of this match. And new all elite wrestling world champion, Kenny. It's got stink all over it. On.
Unbelievable. We got. Can we get another look at what just went down? That's what I want to know. Yeah, he hit him in the head with the microphone. Well, the gentleman. But I think it's a setup, Tony. Okay. It's a bigger story. I think Callis has set this damn thing up for the taking advantage of Tony Khan's hospitality. And, and there's Tony. Tony is barking at Callis and Omega. Don Callis has led a screw job here on on John Moxley that has allowed Kenny Omega to become the AEW World Champion. Is that the only way Kenny Omega can beat John Moxley? Bullshit. Absolute. They're running like scalded dogs here. Where are they they're going? not hanging around for a celebration or a press conference. Fleeing from the scene of the crime is what they're doing. Callus. God. What a no good bastard. Kenny, Doc. Yeah, Kenny Omega's Kenny, right there with it. Okay, guys. Sir, what, what, what did you just do? What's going on? What the hell's going on here? Find out this Tuesday night. Tuesday? Dynamite's on Wednesday. This Tuesday, Impact Wrestling on Access TV. Me and Kenny will tell you all about it, Mark. Man. What the hell? We've just been jobbed. You we've been you did, big time you here. You did right, we've been jobbed. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means as we welcome you to a celebration of life of Mr. Brody Lee. And to get it started, we'll send it down to Justin Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we toll the bell 10 times to honor the memory of Brody Lee. Brody Lee Jr., minus one. You, your family, these boots are retired. Your father, the greatest TNT champion, with all due respect, the greatest TNT champion we've ever had. To you and your family, the TNT champion for life. Keep running that mouth, you will get your ass kicked. Celebrate the 200th edition of AEW Dynamite. Will the JAS be done when Chris Jericho teams with Kanosuke Takeshita? The best part is your opponents, Danny Garcia and Sammy Guevara. And it's anything goes three-way between Penta El Zero Miedo, Trent Beretta, and John Moxley. Why is a warning? Stay in your lane. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS.